environment variables what are these things you might be wondering so just think of it like this whenever you are doing project uh, there are so many sensitive information like database credentials uh, email credentials probably and uh, if you are using something like amazon s3 or uh, some other services uh, then you will have secret keys of those things also now you might be thinking like all these things can be stored in the code itself right we can just assign one variable and uh, it's done pretty much but the thing is whenever we are using some sensitive information in the code base that is your code that time we need to store all these kind of sensitive things inside one file named as .env usually it will be .env and generally it is called as environment variables so what problem happens when you are not using environment variables whenever you are not using environment variables you are risking of making sure all these credentials uh, are available uh, for anybody who has the code which you are using for your project for example imagine you are having one database uh, and it will have a secret credential like username password and uh, probably host uh, name so all these things uh, if you store it in the code file itself uh, that time uh, when you are giving it to somebody else for review let's say that time you are giving the credential also with the it so using that those credentials they can get access to probably that particular project but if you are using multiple projects on similar server or same database for multiple projects they'll be having entire data of all those databases so that's why the problem with not using environmental variable is codes are exposed everywhere we'll discuss all these benefits in this video itself before understanding benefit of it let's just try to understand what are the different types of environment variables usually when you are having one project you'll just create one environment variable in .env file and wherever you want in the project you will use it by using process.env. whatever the environment variable you have created the thing with this particular thing is this specifically i'm talking for node.js because that's the popular thing which we talk about in this channel that's why .env in one node project will expose all this variable in a process.env. whatever the environment variable you have created now node.js knows that whatever is in the .env file it will be used in as a environment variables usually environment variable will be passed to your application whenever you are running it using console that's the usual thing that is whenever you do npm start or whatever the command you are running and there are so many other environment also for example you can use dot env dot dev for your dev environment dot env dot prod for production environment and all this environment file can be used for different type of use case for example if you are connecting to one test database you can use dot test probably dot env dot test then whenever you are using production that time you can use a dot env dot prod or production now when to use all these kind of environment variables usually we use all these kind of environment variables so that whenever we are collaborating we don't have to send the sensitive information with the code for example you might be using github for uh, collaboration and uh, whenever you are using database uh, you don't need to include all this sensitive information we spoke about in the file itself that's the code file itself we can just create env and it won't be pushed to the github it will be present in only in your uh, laptop or computer you are using for uh, development and another person who might be working in this project they know that they also have to use a .env file and whatever the database credential they want to use they can use that's the probably the best benefit of this particular thing not only that even just imagine you are creating code in your laptop and you are pushing it to production and whenever you are pushing it to production you shouldn't push the local tested environment you need to use the production environment only so whatever the database which is in the production those database variables will be used in the production whatever the database will be used for development that variable will be only used in your laptop that's dot env file that's why in the production 
whatever the production level database is connected that variable will be present and in your local you can use whatever the development uh, database you are using you can use that that's probably the best benefit of it other than that yeah of course whenever you are pushing it to github if it is public repository or github gets compromised that time uh, also you need to make sure uh, your environment variables are safe and secure that's why github provides a special place where you can store all these credentials and if you use env in other places of your project it will get exposed whenever you are running it in uh, probably github code spaces or uh, some other things which github provides so that's the biggest benefit out of it whenever you are using your local development environment if it is very small project and you are just learning simple thing then fine directly put it in the code itself but if you are building some real world application then of course you need to use env file because it's easier and it's beneficial in the future so that's it for this video guys and if you like this kind of videos don't forget to hit that like button and see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you soon bye bye